Hello everyone and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. I wanted to showcase um, what's often referred to as a tolerant stacking issue. So this particular upper receiver is all quality components. We have a Knox muzzle device. We have a forward controls design rail system. We have a forward controls design upper receiver. And the barrel is a Centurion barrel. All of these things gauge out. There's no problems with them individually. But tolerant stacking, um, to put it simply, means when you take two components and put them together, whether or not they're of quality origin or if they're cheap or budget stuff. And they don't work right together. So what I wanted to show you here is an issue with the feed ramps. So this particular gun was sent to me by the owner. Um, these ramps are polished from Centurion. Let me gra grab a light so you can see it a little easier. Maybe we can get a little better look. Does that help? So the gun's a little dirty, but it's nice and shiny. But what I want to show you is right here. Here's a swab, the square edge. See how it grabs right there at the bottom? And right there. This gun won't feed reliably. And you may even be able to see some of the debris in here. We have some copper residue right there at the mouth of the uh, chamber. Like I said, the gun's a little dirty, but this gun will not feed. And it's because the barrel extension ramps, the shiny part here, overhangs the M4 ramps on the upper receiver. The projectile gets stuck right there or there as it's feeding up. Now, some people argue, well, all magazines make the round present themselves so they don't even hit this ramp here. It's not always the case. Depending on tolerances in the upper, lower, how the magazines present the rounds, how much slop is in the bolt, it can cause the rounds to hit on the M4 ramps on the upper receiver. So I just wanted to showcase that just because you buy quality components does not mean that you will be problem free. Now, could the owner send this barrel back to Centurion and have them cut the ramps to match this upper? Absolutely. But that's what I'm here for as well. I'm going to fix this. So I will remove the barrel from the upper receiver and I will recontour the bottom portion of the barrel extension ramps. I do not do this work when the upper receiver is attached. You have to remove the barrel to do this work. But just wanted to show you an example of tolerance stacking. Even with fantastic, good quality parts, you can have an issue when everything meshes together. So I hope you found this video educational. Thanks for watching.